know, every church had a Bible like this. You know, every Christian family had a, a Bible like this, and they put their their family genealogy, the weddings, and, Baptism. and baptisms, and burials. It was all put inside the Bible, and you passed it down generation to generation. This particular Bible was published in, in 1905. Now, the reason I brought it out is that I, I want to show a map that's in this Bible. Now, mind you, um, the Schofield Bible was not published until 1913. Right. And I have in my office an original 1913 Schofield, uh, which was the introduction of the Zionist heresies about a future state of Israel and separating the church from Israel and all that rapture stuff. That's where it came from. This is a 1905 Bible. Pre-Schofield. Pre-Schofield with no Schofield notes in it. So you open it up. And uh, this is on page 13. I mean, this thing's big. Uh, I want to show you. Here is, <laughs> here is a map of the Holy Land. And it says, what? Oh, uh, Palestine oh, they of the Holy Land. They misspelled Israel. No. Palestine. <laughs> Palestine. Huh. And all these Christian Zionists that tell me, Rick, there's never been a Palestine. All right. So here's a still. There it is. Let's zoom in and show you here. Yeah. So, yeah, you hear these people like John Hagee. There's never been a Palestine. Well, look at this Bible map from 1905. And most most Bibles from then had a map of Palestine. Palestine. And Palestine is in the Bible itself in the Old Testament. So we're showing you this just because I'm trying to break through the propaganda the confusion, the lies that the Zionists have implanted in millions of minds of Christians in America and told them there's never been a place called Palestine. But I have a map, Rick. Right there it is. 